Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Dale Puckett here and in this video I want to continue on the theme of the versatility of the three string cigar box guitar. In the first video I talked about different strings that you can use, uh, different tunings that you can do, I showed various guitars, different builds, ukuleles and stuff like that, but in this, this video here I want to expand upon that theme and uh, talk about other ways and other things that you can do to the three string cigar box guitar to even make it yet even more versatile. So, some guitars don't have any frets at all. This one here is a fretless slider with a typically high, high action here so that the, the, the slide doesn't bang around here. And it's the same tunings as all the others. It's just basically a power chord, but you're gonna take that power chord and instead of moving it around with one finger, you're gonna move it around with a slide. Check out that bone slide. All right, so. And again, you can tune these things however you want to whatever key that you like. And then whoa, just slide around. You can also, oops, ah, you can also get all technical. And what I mean by getting all technical is um, I got some circuit components in here, a psycho knob, uh, springs for reverb. Uh, different pickup configurations here. This one's got a, a single coil in addition to under the saddle, if you want to call that a saddle, piezo. And so check out some of these sounds. So I got the piezo. You can really hear the hear the spring. Um, and you could do uh, just the mag pickup or both. And you can put circuitry in it to make it go like this. So, technical innovations. Um, this one here is just a, a paint can top. And just an acoustic, there's no plug on here at all. But listen how loud this thing is. So you can make an a resonator out of a paint can top. Crazy! One of the other things I like to do is position these frets according to the harmonic series and it renders perfect sounding chords. This is called just intonation. So so if I take the harmonics here, right here, and I put the frets according to the harmonics, listen to these chords.
So you can be really in tune by simply placing the frets at the exact spot where they need to be. Bam! So with all of this innovation, you can also get real artsy. And what I mean by artsy is you can be real expressive in just the design and the artistic essence of the box. For example, you can choose woods that are beautiful, right? You can put screws for your inlays, nails for your inlays, different finishes. Um, and obviously you can use different woods. This one here is walnut it's with a scarf joint. And um, nice designer F-hole covers, rusted F-holes, hinges for the bridge. Um, check out this one. This is a brick house. A brick house cigar box that has been etched and made to look like it's made with real bricks. Even the saddle's got some brickage going on there. It's a rusty old hinge. And then, okay, you might you might, you might appreciate this one here. The um, Randy Rhodes themed. This one's in the works here. Oh, this was lefty. Three, with a left-handed reverse headstock. So yeah, so. So not only are they versatile in how you play them, how you string them up, how you tune them, but also they can become very versatile on how you build them and you can make them basically sound, play, feel, however you like. So seriously, the three string cigar box guitar is one of the most versatile instruments you will ever see, hear, or play. All right, take care.